You know, I, people need to stop calling the police. I like okay. if I I'm suspicious. Why don't they come up and ask me? Come up and ask me. Uh, what's your name? Hey, where do you I, live? What are you doing? I, I don't disagree with you. Yeah. Right, so all I'm just saying that's why I'm here. So. Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we show police interaction videos and discuss our constitutional rights. Today's video centers around the topic of suspicion, and it is brought to you by this channel. Be sure to give them the credit that they deserve. In this video, the cameraman is jogging when he is stopped by a Grant County Sheriff deputy in the state of Washington. This deputy states that he got a call of a suspicious person because the man running carries a knife with him to protect himself from the unhinged dogs in the area if need be. Now we all know the right to bear arms is protected under the Second Amendment, and if you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that suspicion in of itself cannot be considered a crime, but rather reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed or is about to be. So check out this interaction as this deputy responds to a call for a suspicious person because he is exercising his Second Amendment right while jogging. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Oh, good. The reason I'm talking to you is somebody called in that's saying that you were kind of being a little suspicious out here and there was kids in the area walking and being jogging is being suspicious. No, that's why I'm. I'm I see oh, that's jogging. what they were saying. That's what they were saying. Yeah. So they this. Said it, they said it looked suspicious because you were standing by the mailboxes and they said that you had like a knife on you and that there was kids in the area and they were concerned. That's why. They were uh, I don't. I don't believe anybody would say that because none of that even happened. You're manipulating me. I yeah, you are. You're trying to manipulate me. <clears throat> okay. I never stood by any mailbox. There's no kids out here. I didn't say you did. So. I said that's what. No, you don't. With me, dude, you're manipulating me. You're trying to manipulate me. <clears throat> Let me catch my breath. I've been jogging <sighs> because there was I was never standing by a mailbox, and there's no kids out here. So, why would anybody call? Why would anybody call and say that? You can get a hold of our dispatch and you, re you can request the call record if you want. And you can see that somebody called in and they said that male subject, black sweatshirt, black hat, hunt knife on their side, standing by the mailboxes, kids in the area, suspicious. So well, well, how, how is that suspicious? I don't know. I, I have, I, I, I'm not the one calling in about it. I'm uh, just in, in the area. So. so I'm just making contact with you to see if everything's okay. Everything's yeah, of okay. course it's okay. Like, I, uh, I mean, uh, if anything wasn't okay, then I, I might have called you or whatever, but... Okay. You know, I, people need to stop calling the police. I like, okay. if I, I'm suspicious, why don't they come up and ask me? Come up and ask me, uh, what's your name? Hey, where do you I, live? What are you I, doing? I don't disagree with you. Yeah. Right, so. All I'm just saying, that's why I'm here. So I'm yeah. here to harass you or bug you. So. All right, we'll see. Uh, I have a right to carry a knife on me because uh, I usually don't do that. There's a house right here that every day, every day I, I uh, go jogging by there and these dogs attack me. They try to bite me. So I have a knife on me to defend myself. I even talked to them. I told them, hey, every day I said, take care of your dogs. Take yeah. care of your dogs. So did, I, did I tell you that it's wrong for you to carry a knife? Did I tell you you can't? I never once said that it's not or you can't or it's against the law. I never said that. Well, uh, so. I don't know why you're explaining it to me because you have the right to carry a knife. So I don't. Well, you're, you're taking the side of the person that, no, that called. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're taking the side of... Go home and review your video, and you'll see that I never once took the side of the caller. I just told you the reason why I'm here, and I'm making contact with you, and now I'm going to go. But, all right, cool. But there there shouldn't even have been in a call because there was no crime committed. Okay. You know what I mean? They can... Uh... Well, I guess since you know our job, then... Yeah, I do know your job. Okay. I'm not perfect, and neither are you. You're human, I'm human, but... Like I've seen enough cop videos and I've had enough experiences with police okay. to know that none of you guys are good people. And it's not your fault. You've been trained improperly. You're trained the wrong way. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you doing, sir? Good. So, just having a conversation with Oh, you. wait. Uh, so what is your badge, name and badge number? Herring. I'm GT49. GT49? Yeah. Your name and badge number? Oh, GT19. Name and badge number? Deputy Boston, GT47. Sweet. So. All right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for reminding me. I'll uh, actually I'll do a public records request and then uh, see. Uh, you know, listen to the, the the video or the call. Yeah. But yeah, I'll that. Request the nine one one and why that person called in saying you're suspicious. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm probably thinking it's he, the. He's thinking that we made this up and we're making contact oh, no. to harass him. So. All right. All right. 
All right, you good? Yep. Yeah, man, I'm good. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm assuming it's this house right here. If you want to take care of something, take care of these people. I talk to them almost uh, every day. I go by here jogging, and their dog tries to bite me. You know, and I've told them over and over, take care of your dog. Dog, I don't believe in calling the police. I can handle shit myself. You know what I mean? So if I call the police, I don't want the dog to be put in the pound, or, or they're just gonna tie him up. You know what I mean? Like, be responsible. Take care of your fucking pet. I agree, man. Yeah. They do have the opportunity to call the cops if they want to. So, and that's why we're here to make the interaction if they're not able to or not willing to. Yeah, but that there, there's nothing suspicious about what I did. I, I, I'm jogging. I can't say. I can't. Did you, did you tell him what, what the call, what we got? Yeah, he doesn't believe me. He thinks I made it up. Okay. Yeah, and like I said, it, it, the vast majority of calls that we go on every day that we get dispatched to end up being like this. There's no crime that happened. Yeah. There's no paperwork that's done or reports that are done, but when people call, we have to respond. It, it's our duty to respond when people call, right? Well, th this could all be, uh, you know, put the rest. You might not even have to have to respond. Do you, do you, any one of you know what the definition of a crime is? Can you even tell me that? Okay, somebody. That's not the reason. No, no, I'm asking you a question, sir. You have to answer my questions. Hey, rein it in, dude. What is the definition of a crime? There's kids in the area. There was no kids in the area. Okay, when I pulled up, there was kids walking down the sidewalk headed to school. So there was kids in the area. The guy so, walking around with a knife? Three cops walking around with a gun? Acting like cops? Okay. Dude, look at you guys, man. Like, what is the definition of a crime? You don't even know that. That's this. Your whole job is based on that concept. Answer my question. I hope you have a great day. Answer my question. Bye -bye. You guys don't even know the definition of a crime and you're out preventing crime? What is the definition well, for a crime? I'm sit here and have this debate with you yeah, because you can't answer. You can't answer. You guys are a bunch of bullies. Peace, man. Peace. See ya. You bunch of liars and manipulators. And there you have it for this interaction. I actually do believe both parties are correct in this interaction. The issue comes down to people calling the cops for unnecessary reasons. They've been conditioned by the see something, say something era to call Big Brother every time they're afraid. The reality is every time a cop is called for something suspicious, they have to respond. But these officers did not push the issue of obtaining identification once they dispelled the suspicion, and the jogger wants to continue to exercise in peace without being stopped and questioned by cops, so I completely understand his frustration. When you mix that with the fact that there are countless videos online of cops responding to calls similar to this one and then pushing the issue and sometimes using force to obtain identification and make an arrest just based on a call, it is easy to see why the jogger doesn't trust cops. But let me know your thoughts below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching today's video.